Layout extension number five. Welcome to Midsummer Railway. I'm your host, Greg, and thanks for joining me. Thanks for all the new subscribers, and thanks to all my current subscribers. I do appreciate it. Hope you enjoy this video. I do apologise for the lateness of this video. My wife's been sick in hospital. A little stress over the layout that you'll hear later. So, let's get into it. This is one of the first locos to run on the new part of the layout. I do apologise for the out of focus camera. This camera needs a lot more light and I'm still sorting out my cameras and my lighting. That'll come soon. The other problem I was having was the uh, rise um, up to the uh, uh, top level and to the second level for whatever reason. Some of them don't always want to run um, so it's taken a while to do, sort that out got all the track now I hope right and um, I've been working on the signaling and that has been driving me insane so you'll see that uh, in this one it comes around and the idea is that the two trains don't collide obviously um, and when it, when the second line comes back into the main line so as you can see hits the sensor and it goes green and it says yes you can pass great so this signal system has been driving me insane while i can modify arduino code i cannot write it there was a problem with the coding and it took me a while to fix it i also had a faulty sensor for some reason playing up not sure why and it was all intermittent i've now sorted all that out but i did have to stop for a while and just not do anything also, the other delay was my wife had to have some tests. She's all okay, but uh, they just needed to make sure she was right. So she had some hospital visits, etc., etc. Stage one, get the signalling right. So when the top track comes through, it has priority. The next track down, the power is turned off. So there are three levels of track basic level that runs around the front and then at the back we've got two levels as you can see that's got the loco on it the next level down has a branch line of the main track which is dcc only the outside track on the second level is dc or dcc which is totally separate the tracks in front are where the station is going and also the town and then you go up into the country. Okay, so in this scene you will see that the engine runs as it hits the light, the light changes and it's allowed to go through. The first light is a station stop, which I'm not worried about at the moment, I've actually turned off. So this time the lower level will have priority because it's in front of the top level as it hits the sensor that allows it to go through while the top level is stopped to let the next level down proceed through the switch and back into the main line. Once it's passed through then the top level is allowed to move on. Now that's part one. Part two is when the second level has priority it will also switch the turnout to allow it to go and join the other line I had too many complications and too many issues so I have split this up into stages 1, 2 and 3 stage 1 is getting the signals right and the tracks power right stage 2 operating the turnout to allow the lower level to go and join the main level and stage three is the station stop at the moment only the lights working I've just turned the rest of it off the other thing I've been doing to take my mind off the signaling system which was driving me insane was to build this fella allotment kit I haven't gone through the details because I was a little frustrated with the signaling system and it was just a way of um, trying to forget what was going on so as you can see I've built this little kit and uh, it'll appear in the layout somewhere 
So lots of other little bits have been happening as well. A bit of foliage between the tracks, waiting for ballast to come. Um, a new uh, um, background um, brickwork, uh, as you can see, that's still drying. Um, the other thing is the section that I added to get the bits of track and things I needed. Still not quite sure what to do with that. Um, I've got to be honest, I'm not real happy with it. But of course, my main aim is always to make sure my trains run for my grandson because he absolutely loves them. Thank you to all those who have subscribed. I really appreciate it. And please push the like button. It does help encourage my channel. Thank you. And you can find another video here. I hope you will enjoy it. Until next time, let's keep those model trains on the rails. Bye for now.